This week we're reflecting on prayer. In Luke 1, we hear the story of a blessing in the Christmas story. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The Magnificat was a daily prayer of Mary, spoken in good times and bad. We can imagine that she often prayed words like that, even at times like the passion and death of her son, her faith remained strong that God would take care of her and of him. In prayer, we can pray our own Magnificat, thanking God for blessings, for good times, for bad times through which God protected us, and for the ways in which we have grown up in good times and bad. The faithfulness promised to God's people is also promised to each of us now. Take a deep breath. Try today to walk around a place of beauty. Look and listen. Smell and touch the beauty of nature. As you walk, pray the line of Mary's poem. My soul glorifies the Lord. Be filled for this time with thanks for all you see, hear, touch, and feel of God's creation.